Well, hello. Today we consider Psalm 7, the seventh psalm. So it begins by saying it's a shiganon. A shiganon is an ecstatic song, kind of a wild ecstatic song. And then it says in the subscription, concerning Cush a Benjamite. So Cush a Benjamite, we think, is a guy, one of Saul's henchmen, that is out to do harm to King David. So again, we find David running for his life, running into the, away from men who would try to kill him, and into the arms of God, who is his refuge. He says, O oh my God, and you I've taken refuge. Save me from all those who pursue me and deliver me. So I love the confidence that, that David has. The confidence says this, that I know who my God is. Remember, he talked before about killing the bear and killing the lion that tried to attack his sheep. He knows how strong God is on his behalf. And he knows that Cush is nothing compared to the protective arm and surrounding nature of who God is in his life. He goes on to say, Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift up yourself against the rage of my adversaries. And arouse yourself for me. You have an appointed judgment. So he knows that God is going to judge Cush, his enemy. He says, My shield is with God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge and is a God who is indignation every day. He is a dug now he goes on to talk about this guy Cush. He says, He's dug a pit and hollowed it out, and has fallen into the hole which he made. His mischief will turn upon his own head, and his violence will descend upon his own pate. Well, what what's David saying? David is saying I know who my God is, I trust him, and I know that bad fellow that's out to do me harm will fall into the own pit that he dug for me, he'll fall into the pit himself. So what does that have to do with you and I in 2021? It means that it doesn't matter who your enemies could be or might be, it matters most importantly who your God is. So today I encourage you to know the Lord your God more intimately this year than you ever have before, and then take solace in the fact that God's got your back. You don't have to worry about anybody or anything. Have a great day.